making decisions, and forming judgments. How it all began. In 1974, cognitive psychologists Amo Tversky and Daniel Kahneman drew attention to representativeness and availability heuristics in their research. The representativeness heuristics help individuals to judge the likelihood of things in terms of how well they represent particular stereotypes. The availability heuristics deal with creating judgments based on how information is presented. The two pointed out how these generally helpful shortcuts can lead even the smartest people into dumb decisions. How decisions are made. Sensory evidence such as smell, sight, and taste are perceived and registered to translate a message to the brain. Once the evidence reaches the critical threshold in the brain, judgments are formed and decisions are able to be made. Decision making in everyday life. Decision making is usually effortless. It doesn't require a lot of thought. We often don't realize we are making decisions until we are faced with the consequences that result from them. Decisions we make every day can range from simple to complex. For example, deciding what you want to eat for breakfast when you wake up in the morning. It's a simple decision that doesn't require much thought. On the other hand, decisions such as not doing your homework can lead to poor habits and long-lasting consequences that could potentially have a negative effect on your future. Research studies. Research studies, including animals, help to explore the process in which everyday decisions and judgments are made. In an experiment, researchers recorded a monkey's brain activity while playing video games. While playing the video game, the monkey would predict which direction the moving target on the screen would move in next. This experiment helped scientists to identify how humans and animals make decisions in various situations. In addition to analyzing how the monkey made decisions, the researchers also used its observed neuron activity to identify the monkey's confidence level in its decisions while playing the video game as well. This following video represents animals making rapid decisions in a short amount of time. It shares similar aspects to the experiment held with the monkeys because it deals with an individual's ability to make an appropriate decision. Framing. How an issue is framed can significantly affect decisions and judgments. For example, if a person were telling a story they may change minor details to make it come across more appealing, such as saying, one person out of 100 instead of 1%. In this video, Buddy the Elf presents his story with a certain tone in order to elicit an excited response from his audience. 